Now, if you want to stick around, we'll do a little q and I'll answer all your burning questions the best of my abilities, and we'll go from there. So uh, take off, take off. That's good. Thanks for stopping by. Now let's get into a little Q&A. All right. Oop, wrong button. Let's see. Uh, hey, Toby. About time I got a spammer. Anybody want to be a moderator? If you've been here for a while, just raise your hand, and I'll dole them out. That's a good question, Ben. That's why I use your website, and I cheat off you to steal all your data and get as much information as I possibly can. So Ben's website, I actually use it into a couple different things uh, with how I'm going to ladder in and ladder out, especially when the next bull run comes. Definitely take a look at that video. And also, if you want to check out Ben's website, it links in the description. Mr. Johannes would like to be a moderator. I will, sh let me get you going. Let's see. <laughs> The photo, are there lakes in Puerto Rico? There's no, well, there's flooding in Puerto Rico. Beautiful oceans. There's lakes, actually, so there's lakes here all over the place. Asen says, not shame, you're paying, that's true. Ah, uh, where are we? Ah, Des, I'm glad that pick made your day. Yeah, that's a good point, Hosky. Okay, so again, questions, questions, questions. Ah, great question. BM. <laughs> That's a funny BM. Uh, I have a 401k from a previous employee. I'd like to roll over into an IRA at Isha's Capital. Thoughts? You can do such things, but remember, there's always risks involved. I had the same issue when I try to roll over different things, and especially because when you make a certain amount, you can't get into a Roth IRA. You have to do what's called a backdoor Roth IRA. And what I did was I set up a time, and I talked to the guys over at iTrust, and it took about 30 minutes. Actually, for me, it took about 45 minutes. So I just sat down there, I talked with them, and they answered all my questions. That's what I would start with first, to see if this is actually right for you. It's not right for everybody. So just know the things that I talk about, like uh, Masterworks, that's not right for everybody. Uh, diversi diversification and things outside of Bitcoin, maybe that's not your thing. And then, of course, I trust and uh, all those things. It just depends on what, you, what your needs are. So definitely talk to those guys, link in the description. It's a good question. Bertie says, Rob, which barbecue should I mar marinate my chicken with? I like everything spicy. There's a good one. There's a, I use a vinegar, Cholula sauce, and garlic. And it's in the ratio is a third and a, no, excuse me, a third of the vinegar, two thirds of the Cholula sauce, which is super spicy. And then, and then also garlic and just a little bit of pinch. And that what's, that's what makes it great. Your throat will hate you, but uh, the next day you'll be thankful. You'll, you'll thank me. Let's see. Uh, good question. Jeff says, are you buying if we go down today after the meeting? Yes. That's what I'm waiting for. However, I could be wrong. Jerome could come out and say, you know what? That Elizabeth Warren scares the hell out of me. I'm going to not raise rates. And I'm just going to go to 50 and hopefully she won't beat me up. So maybe, I don't know. Uh, and then from there, uh, if it's, if, if we get 50, then off of the market, you go. There's also just so everybody knows BlackRock put out a, a piece of information that said that they don't believe, or they believe that there's going to be 75 basis point rate hike, but Jerome's going to come out and he's going to be very dovish at what he talks about and how he's going to, you know, taper off. So let's see if BlackRock's right. I don't know. I don't think BlackRock has that much pull. I know people are laughing right now. BlackRock, they have suit trillions. Of Look, sometimes there's people you can't buy. Do you think Jerome is really like, well, I really could use an extra yacht. I'm sure he's doing just fine. I think it's all about legacy now. Because when you get older, you know, it's like, well, how much do I really need? You know, do I need, do I need another pool house? Do I need another, you know, mansion? Do I need another yacht or something like that? Or... Do you want to be like the greats, like the Marcus Aurelius, like the Epictetus, the ones that are being remembered throughout history, the ones that did the right thing at the right time? I'm just saying. Let's see. Oh, my smokes. Then since 2018. That's a long time. Me and you both. Well, 2017. Ah, oh, Ozzy. Good take. I'm saying 25 base points is a possibility. December. 
But wouldn't it be great if Ozzy was right and Jerome comes on and says, you know what? 25 basis points a day. Whew. Wow. Uh, I looked at my shorts. Always a funny one. I remember seeing a commercial at one point. What was it? It was uh, Classic Tees, which I'm wearing right now. Glad you like the commercial. Crypto Gamer says, I understand that they might have caught Do Kwan. Really? But when is the day that we see Alex Mashinsky with handcuffs on? Me and my wife talked about this a couple nights ago. And she's, she's under, the, under the assumption that, uh, that these people, because remember, I have, a, I have a fatal flaw. My fatal flaw is I believe everybody's like me and they're not going to screw everybody over. And I think there's some people out there, and she said it correctly, that uh, that's their MO. That's what they do. And uh, don't sue me, but you know that's what they do. And they're like, well, we have a lot of money, so we can just fight this in court. And with the legal process, we can get away with it with minimal jail time. Even if we went to jail for a year, we're still billionaires. And I was like, geez, that is true. If you think I'm negative, you should meet my wife. She's just kidding. Let's see. Ah, burning quest, crypto question, Rob. Elon Musk will allow you to shoot one crypto figure into outer space using one of his rockets. Who are you sending? Who or what? If it's who, I'm going to say myself. I've never been to space. That'd be great. And then for what, I would say, uh, I don't know. Uh, Bitcoin Cash. Do we really need Bitcoin Cash? <laughs> uh, that'll, that'll make everybody else mad. Let's see. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Rob, since your viewers keep calling you Dan, have you adopted an alter ego named Dan? No, but uh, that's what everybody calls me because it stands for Digital Asset News. And I'm just happy people show up. I don't care what they call me. Ah, thank you. George is low risk. George is low risk. Uh, I should give Ben a wrench. He'd be a good one, actually. Let's see. Uh, chilies. I still have some chilies on the Voyager platform. Hopefully I get some of that back. Uh, I can see why it would be. I mean, I mean, sports figures and sports teams and things like that and, and able to give the sports figures a, uh, a way to vote and essentially have a DAO uh, through chilies. I can see how it could work. I just don't know if the execution can make it. Ah, okay, great. Love this channel. We want the rare people who provide a balanced view and let us decide in our opinion. I try. Well, a lot of you are much, much smarter than me. So I just give you the information that you need because you don't have time to look through all this stuff, right? I have time. I'm not doing too much. So I give you the information, then you guys can make your opinions. Mm. Oh, it's a great question. Speaking of different income streams, how much you earn from YouTube, Rob? Squat. YouTube... Eh, it paid pretty well in the bull run. Yeah, I must be honest. But uh, now they're in the bear market. It doesn't pay anything, really. So uh, we do pretty well uh, with... Um, we do a lot into uh, into real estate. And uh, long-term, the short-term rentals uh, do pretty well. Uh, we have an, I have an online education platform to help nurses pass their clinical exam, uh, Amazon business, uh, sparingly. So it does okay. And then, you know, I didn't... Uh, and then, of course, the gains that I made from crypto, I didn't spend them on Lambos or uh, crazy part, whatever people spend them on. I just bought real estate. And it worked out pretty well so far. We'll see. So, yeah, that's why I'm always talking about diversification. I think if you could have, I mean, think about now, like if you, in November and April 2021, wouldn't it be nice to like take some profits, and maybe roll it into like uh, a real estate property? Uh, where you could do either a flip, which is very difficult. I don't recommend those things. I don't like doing that. Uh, Long-term or short-term rentals. And then, uh, of course, uh, uh, tax options that you can have for the depreciation value of, the, of those houses. I think when you do those types of things, look at it and go, no, oh, it's not too bad, right? I hedge my bet. No, I'm not a Dogecoin millionaire, but hey, I've got some something on the side that is a little bit uh, more uh, reproducible. Uh, let's see. Adroba says, are you staying live in the 2 p.m. meeting? No, because there's a plenty of other uh, YouTubers that will be live during this, this show. So watch them. They could use some love from you guys. I think it's going to be 75 basis points, and that's it. 
Ah, hold coin. <laughs> hold coin nerd. Ads on YouTube have dropped off. Must get product review money, sell a course, make money. George is a lot of paying partners. That's how he makes a lot. Yeah, good for him. I mean, like, like, look, I mean, Masterworks is, uh, uh, they are a sponsor. Uh, I trust is a sponsor. I've talked about those when I, you know, when they're sponsoring. Uh, but me, like for the websites and all like that, like I have a website. It's all my best information I could possibly put together. But that's on danteacherscrypto.com, but it's 100% free. And it's free. It's always will be free. And I always update that with the most up-to-date information. Like we just did a bunch of staking for uh, Cosmos and Near and Avalanche and using the ledger to stake your, your crypto. So that's what I do. Ah, Mountain Man, thank you. I thought it was 2 o'clock, but I was wrong. 2.30 is going to be when Powell lays. That's uh, 2.30 uh, Eastern time. So, yeah, I see the word Doge. Look, if Elon comes out and says, you know, we're, we should use Doge for payments, Doge will probably go to the moon. And that's it. I'm not going to tell you to buy Doge, but uh, maybe if you're into that type of play. <laughs> Crypto dollar that. I hit more home runs off Amy than the Phillies hit last night. That's funny. Oh, no. It means the Phillies won. means the Astros lost. Shoot. Didn't even think about that. Gabriel says, what do you think about Algorand? I think it's going to do quite well. Uh, I own Algorand. I, I DCA into it. Um, I had Anthony Scaramucci on the show about a year ago or so, and he talked about how his firm, Skybridge, they invested $250 million into Algorand. They really believe in, believe in it. And I should probably do a deep dive into that. But yeah, I think it's going to do pretty well. Even Charles Hoskinson has uh, a good amount of respect for for Algorand. Rob, do they serve that chili dish at the Smokehouse? I don't know, but uh, next week we'll do a meetup in, uh, at the Smokehouse. Great place. Great place. Ah. Great credentials. Got that wrong. <laughs> what altcoins do you see performing the best? The next bull market. Mm, probably Polygon. Ah, well, probably Polygon. Uh, I can see the layer ones probably do pretty well. So your Ethereum, your Cardano, your uh, Avalanche, your Polkadot. Polkadot, I think, will do really well. And then also, don't forget about Chainlink. I mean, how many oracles are out there? And when I say oracles, the ability to pull outside data into the blockchain. How many different oracles are out there? Chainlink's the only one I know of, and I, it's going to be used quite heavily. And also, don't don't forget that uh, Chainlink and Swift has some kind of deal uh, moving forward to upgrade their uh, archaic messaging system. Jack says bottom is not in. Interesting. I don't think so either. But uh, we, me and Jack, could be wrong. Rate hikes coming for months. I do believe that. Yeah. Yeah, the rumor is about moving the inflation target. Interesting, but I doubt anything is announced today. Don't think so. Why would they? Although it would be perfect timing. Let's be honest. You know, next Tuesday we have midterms. So it would be interesting. And everybody's going to, they're, they're, everybody's going to guess and say, well, the reason why Jerome talked about uh, moving those you know, if he does talk dovish or does this is because he owes a favor to the Democrats and he's trying to, uh, or Republicans, if he says nothing. I don't know. Again, I think Jerome's out for Jerome. Jerome Powell's out for legacy. What about Doge, Nick? He's doing well. And uh, again, if uh, Elon comes up and says, hey, you know what? We're going to use that for payments. It's going to go to the roof. There was actually... I don't know if you guys know, use this thing. It's called email. And in every one of my email inboxes, I have a bunch of spam. I don't know about you, but I have a ton of spam. And uh, there was a, a proposition put forth, and it was by Sam Bakeman Free. I know some people hate him now, and some people like him, whatever. But he had a good, good point. He said, you know, wouldn't it be great if we can use a cryptocurrency and you would have to pay for every email? I'm not talking about one email per one Bitcoin. I'm just saying, like, let's say you use Dogecoin. Dogecoin is pretty cheap, relatively fast, apparently. 
and you could use a fraction of a Dogecoin to send out emails because how many emails do you send per day, right? So for me, like just as my a personal account and even a business account, I could see I would actually probably sign up for that because it makes sense if I could pay a little Doge to send out an email and then I wouldn't get so much spam. Would you sign up for that? I personally go through every morning 40, 30 or 40 different uh, spam emails and I unsubscribe and every time I unsubscribe, I get 10 more. It's like a Hydra. So, I mean, I would go with that. Um, and then of course, if we're talking about Twitter and they use that for payments or even tipping, sounds good to me. Sebastian, when meeting? Probably next week. Polygon leader so far, I gotta agree. Yeah, you can find it. All, all my friends make fun of me because they're always like, hey, I saw you in that stupid ad commercial. Yeah, I know. So look, they're good shirts, they're good shirts. I mean, they, they fit. I'm not a big guy, so you know, they fit uh, just fine. And then also what I like about them is that uh, part of the proceeds go to homeless veterans. It's a good thing to support. Uh, Crypto Contrarian, I will put that information out next week. <laughs> Are your neighbors on their honeymoon? It's pretty fun. Can you hear the bang in the background? Well, uh, right here, right next to the Vanderbilt is uh, on Condado is where uh, our condo is. And this is one of our rentals. And we're staying here because our other house has no electricity. We're also fixing it up because the long-term rental guy moved out and he trashed the place. That's just how it goes. But right next to us, uh, they are building a, another hotel, and that's what I get to listen to all day long. Bang, 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 bang. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably raise the property value. That's great. I mean, we're like just a block away. Actually, the motion's right. It's like, uh, I don't know, 200 feet from here. But, uh, yeah, that's what you hear in the background. What do you think about the dot CEO resign as a bullish for the project? I, the reason why Gavin Wood, Dr. Gavin Wood stepped down was so he could focus more on different aspects of code in the project, not so much about the day-to-day -day operations. I think some people are great as CEOs and they can really move things and really make things work. But some people, you know, they are just the nuts and the bolts guy and they can bring things to, to market. I just don't think that's uh, their part. And I, I think it's, it's good. I mean, that's what, Play to your strengths, right? Let's do that. <laughs> Everybody forgot about Doge, right? Does anybody know the Dogecoin millionaire? I'd love to have him on because he's talking about taking profits. Uh, Arlen, I had my finger on the trigger at 17.7 Bitcoin, but held off because of the caught the falling nice. Hey, who knows? It might go down to 16.9. And then you'd be like, ah, oh, see, I'm the smartest person in the world. Or I could go up to 30K and you're like, ah, oh, I missed it. That's crypto in a nutshell. Classic teas are awesome. Rob, please talk about Voyager. Uh, last thing is this is um, there was an email that was put out about voting for uh, the FTX acquisition. I'll probably be voting for it. And I'll tell you exactly why in... Uh, the next email, or next email, next uh, video I do. <laughs> it's fun. Ah, MDMD says this. Oh, Rob, so glad to catch the stream. I'm in the US. What should I do with my uh, sweat? Buy gift cards in their store or just wait for the coin to travel in the US? I just do, do what I do. Like I got some, some uh, ear, earbuds a while back, and then I also just donated them. Uh, so the things that I actually the sweat coins that I actually uh, get. If you don't know, sweat coin is one of my Dan D Gen plays. I think it'd do quite well. I did a deep dive over on the second channel. Links in the description. Can't miss it. And uh, for every thousand steps you walk, you get a sweat coin. And that's it. And right now they're worth a whopping uh, two cents. So watch out. You could uh, be a millionaire if you walk to the moon. And that's it. And uh, I think that's it. So guys, I think we answered all your questions. So look, uh, do me a favor. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, all that good stuff. A lot of things we talk about are very time sensitive, as you can definitely tell. That's it for today. So that will do it. I want to say thanks, everybody, for stopping by. I didn't get to the uh, admins. I will add people in uh, tomorrow. Sorry about that, but I got to take off. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate all of you, and I'll see you on the next one.
Adiós.